TD Nation, welcome back to another episode of Mutt 15. Now, over the weekend, we had plenty of new content. We had the Football Outsiders on Friday, but yesterday, it was a legend that really stole the show. We got a 99 overall Night Train Lane. Now, there is one up in the auction house for about 2.7 million coins. And honestly, I wouldn't doubt if he actually sells 96 speed, 98 acceleration, 92 catching. The card is an absolute beast. But the stats just get better and better. I mean, just look at some of these stats. 97, 99, 99, 98. 83 spectacular catch and 99 hit power for a cornerback. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. Now, we did also have a 24-hour football outsiders cornerback on Friday. Vontae Davis, definitely a beast. He also has 85 hit power. I mean, I guess EA wants to start giving these corners better hit power. But, hey, Vontae Davis, Night Train Lane. Two of the best in Mutt 15. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at our lineup before we jump into week number five. Not going to make any changes. We're probably going to have some awesome content on Monday with the new Team of the Week playoff cards. So I'm going to hold off for now. I will bring you guys a flashback pack opening. And I am going to bring you guys a couple of Frost packs. Now if you guys want to see a Frost bundle today, go ahead, drop a like on this video. And I can definitely do that for you guys. So in pack number one, we really don't get anything. Let's see what number two will bring us. These Frox packs, they seem to be hit or miss. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not so great. And you are going to get an Ice Bowl collectible in every single one. Another bronze badge, a bear Pasco. He goes for a little bit of coins, but yeah, really nothing going on. Now, I did have enough Ice Bowl collectibles to go ahead and open up a gift. Let's see what we can get. It's looking pretty intriguing. Let's see. And yeah, it's a quick sell gift. So hopefully, they'll be better than the ones the first time around, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's go ahead. Let us jump into week number five. You can see we're already late in the second quarter. We are taking on the New York Jets. Geno Smith is his quarterback. Jonas Gray is his halfback. And let me tell you guys, it's been an ugly game so far. Plenty of turnovers. Jonas Gray once again on the counter play. Goes right side. Darrell Revis rips the ball loose. And it is exactly what we needed to get this game going. Luke Keekley bringing it down the sideline. And is finally brought down. So here we are with 25 seconds remaining. Looking to get in the field goal range. Russell Wilson. Standing in the pocket, finds Steven Jackson. He gets upfield and is finally brought down at the 20-yard line. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to burn a timeout. We have zero remaining at this point. Russell Wilson pump fakes, and Russell Wilson throws an interception. I mean, thank gosh for editing because I can't tell you guys how ugly of a first half that was. So here we are in the second half, and I told myself we have got to get this run game going. And also, you guys can see... There is going to be three gameplays in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you do. Now a screen pass to Steven Jackson. I told you guys I'm really going to try and get him going. He picks up another first down. Later on first and 10, it's a stretch play. Jonathan Stewart's in the game now, but it doesn't matter. Same result. He picks up 14 yards. Russell Wilson finds Odell Beckham Jr. across the middle. No doubt he's catching that. I mean, he seems to catch everything. A halfback draw to Jonathan Stewart this time. And he is inside the 12-yard line. So on fourth and one, it wasn't Jonathan Stewart. It wasn't Steven Jackson. But it was Tavon Austin that came in, got the toss play, and took it in for the game's first touchdown. So here's my opponent. Let's see how he's going to respond. He hands this one off the middle. And once again, another fumble by Darrell Revis. I mean, I don't know what it is this season, but we have just been forcing a ton of fumbles. Later, Russell Wilson getting outside the pocket, finding Delaney Walker. Makes a couple of guys miss Delaney Walker all the way down to the six. So on third and goal, we get him to jump off sides, but it does not matter. It's Tavon Austin once again bringing him for the touchdown. And it was an ugly win, but a win is a win. We went on. Our defense took care of business in the second half, and we moved to 5-0 on the season. So here we are kicking off week number six. Denard Robinson is the return man. He's going to go ahead and make a juke move. And once again, another fumble forced by my defense, special teams, whatever you want to say. Casey Hayward picks it up, and he is in the end zone now. I'm a little concerned with Clay Matthews dancing there, but here's my opponent. Let's see what his offense can do. This is Trey Mason. It's his running back. Peyton Manning is his quarterback. And he's also got other guys like Team of the Week, Andre Johnson. So here he is, another counter play. This is Denard Robinson. He brings that one out. It's just short of a first down. Later on first and 10, Peyton Manning. Wait. Peyton Manning's rolling outside the pocket, and Peyton Manning is finding Michael Floyd in the end zone to tie things up at seven apiece. So now I feel like we got our work cut out for us. We find Odell Beckham Jr. across the middle. We pick up a first down. Later on first and 10, it's a screen pass, Steven Jackson. And it looked like that was going to get bottled up, but instead we pick up some beautiful blocks in Steven Jackson. 
I mean, he has just been a workhorse for us lately. Picks up 33 yards. So later in the drive, Russell Wilson looked like he was going to scramble, but instead at the last second, he fired it to Emmanuel Sanders. Now, unfortunately, we didn't do anything the rest of the drive, so we played it safe. We went ahead. We took the field goal to give us a 10-7 lead, and here he is back on offense. Now, as you guys saw, he pretty much goes between the same two or three plays, so I feel like I got him figured out. Second and 10, Peyton Manning, and there it is. We bait him in the throw in the out route once again. And Casey Hayward gets his second touchdown of the game. This time it is a pick six. So now all the pressure is on Peyton Manning. He's going with that five wide set. He's going to find Andre Johnson to the outside. Picks up a first down. So here he is moving the chains once again. Manning really all day to throw. He's going to go ahead. He's going to take a shot deep for Mike Evans. And I don't even know what the heck to say to that. I mean, how did he catch that? It was just the weirdest animation I have seen. Back to Trey Mason in the running game all the way down to the three. So on first and goal, Peyton Manning is going to step back to pass. Looks left side, and that is intercepted by Devin McCourty. I mean, I feel like that's Madden karma right there. There's no way Mike Evans should have caught that pass. And before I could even choose my play on offense, my opponent went ahead and quit the game. So here we are, the third and final game of the video. And I know you guys see that Patriots logo. A lot of you guys have been asking to see the Patriots red alternate jerseys. So here they are. After that playoff win last night, I had to go ahead and bring them out for you guys. Now we did force Drew Brees in the offense to a three and out. So here we are in the punt return. This is Goodwin. He makes a spin move. Goodwin gets down the sideline. And for a second, I thought he was going to take that one all the way. So here we are back on offense. Or actually, this is our first drive on offense. Steven Jackson picks up six yards. Russell Wilson now rolling out to the right. He's going to find Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen picks up some blocks. And we made that look way too easy already. We take a 7-0 lead. So let's see how Drew Brees is going to respond. Stepping back in the pocket. Finds his receiver across the middle. And that is a good way to get the drive started. 19 yards through the air. Now in first and 10, it's Denard Robinson. What is everyone? I mean, everyone seems to be using Denard Robinson lately. But on first and 10, it is Luke Keekley picking off Drew Brees. And I don't think there's any doubt about this one. This one is going all the way back for a pick six. And look at Luke Kuechly doesn't even need to celebrate that pick six because it was so easy for him. So here we are, third and nine, looking to get another stop. But my opponent with that same exact route picks up a first down. Now you guys can see the game does start to lag. And since that is pretty annoying to watch, I'm not going to show you guys too many highlights in this game. Now he does pick up another first down there. So on first and ten, he's going to go ahead. He's going to hand this one off to Denard Robinson. And he is going to pick up quite a few yards in the play. It's going to make it second and one. And instead of running the ball, he's going to go ahead and he's going to go play action. Now Drew Brees is going to take a shot deep right side. I know it seems like it's in slow motion, but Revis Island has no problem picking that one off, even with the lag. Now he is going to get brought down in the end zone for a touchback. And let me tell you guys, the lag didn't stop, but it didn't stop our offense. We find Keenan Allen once again on a fourth and six to take a 21-0 lead. But we weren't done yet in the first half. You can see there's 13 seconds remaining. Russell Wilson. You can see the game is actually starting to look a little better now. He finds Odell Beckham. And Odell Beckham Jr. is going to set up himself. Russell Wilson takes a deep shot to the end zone. And Odell Beckham Jr. I'm telling you guys. He just seems to catch everything. You can see we took a 27 to nothing lead. And before we could even kick the extra point, my opponent went on to quit the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to leave a like if you did. And I will bring you guys a Frost Bundle if you want to see it. I'm TD Presents, and I'm signing out.